After you open up the packaging, of course, we have the plastic tray, the undercarriage pieces, the tow bar, the leg pedestal, the handle assembly, the axle, and of course we've got the nuts and bolts here. These are the bolts that hold the undercarriage to the tray. These are the nuts and bolts that fit the undercarriage together at the axle. These are the washers associated with these lot and the washers associated with that lot. This is the handle assembly bolts um, and the axle washers. Starting to assemble the undercarriage to the tray. This is the bolt and washer that fits from the plastic side of the tub. That goes through to the bottom and the undercarriage and then you finish it off with the nut, spring washer and, and flat washer. Starting off the assembly I choose with one person it's best to do the outside bolts and then once that's in then you can quickly put the put the other bolts in. When putting the outside nuts on it's easier to leave off the spring washer because there's not enough room and you're juggling too much to um, have that on at this stage. Um, for this bolt and that bolt. So leave the spring washer off and then put the other ones on and then once they're on then you introduce the spring washer. The second bolt is on. Once you have all the nuts and bolts in place we're now ready for the uh, this, this assembly with where the axle goes into. When installing the undercarriage together, we use the 8mm bolt and flat washer, spring washer and nut. When assembling the bolt at this stage onto the undercarriage, we just have them loose so it enables us to introduce the axle quite easily. After getting to that stage, we just leave, as I said, all those bolts loose for now. But now we go to the stage of putting the handles on. In this stage, we'll be assembling the, the handle and leg to the front of the tray. With the uh, leg, we have an S configuration where the flat part there fits onto the tray. Two bolts there, one bolt through there. And make sure you have these holes here where the handle attaches to are on the outside. Now the, the leg fits on first. We get the bolt from underneath and then the leg fits on there and then do, do your nuts up from there, Lo loosely, very loosely. With the handle assembly you might find it easier in fact to get the, this bolt on first, just leave it loose with the spacer and then we can introduce one bolt at the back and you'll have just enough room to put the nut and then we can compress that and then introduce the other bolt. Once those handles are assembled it's a matter of putting the final handle in. And it's okay. With this part we're putting in the axle and the tow bar. 
So insert the axle, bring it back to that point there, we then rest, it's got to go through a hole here, slide that through. Leaving it up, and now we can tighten these bolts up. Just to make sure we've got the actual central, put the tyres on, put the put the valve out, so we know we've got it exactly central. Ready. I've turned the wheelbarrow over so now it's ready for hand mode but if you've got a right on mower you can use it as a trailer so you lift it up pull this pin out here pull the clip out pull it out rotate that up turn it around So ready to hook on to your mouth.